Hey guys, I'm at a new house here. I don't think it's real old. The ground's really digging weird. It's got some layers to it. I don't know. I just started. It's, I gotta go to work here in a little bit, but I thought I'd hit this. I got permission for this house. I might find something, I'm not sure. Got a couple pennies so far. I'll get back with you if I find something. I'm gonna dig this one live here. The street that I'm on is called Lion Street, and it's named after General Lion. And there it is, laying down there in the bottom. I must have kicked it right in the bottom when I hit it. Brand new quarter. Found two new quarters so far. This street was named after General Lyon, which was a Union general that was killed in the Battle of Wilson's Creek. <clears throat> and this street is Lyon Street. So it's an old street. I think this is an add on street because it's not that old. On that way towards the center of town, the street's really old. There's some really good spots to hunt. But just by the name of the street here, this is an older area. But I think it's probably developed in the 40s as a cut through street. Sidewalk curbs are fairly new. That's well, not a real old part of town, but it's worth hunting. Well, that's pretty cool. It looks like a helicopter. All right, on to the next. That's pretty cool. Let's dug this up. It's a strength on the back. It's real heavy. Oh, that's awesome. Really nice find. I wasn't expecting that here. Popped up two new pennies right there. All right, on to the next one. Cool find. We got me an old master lock key here. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It's not real old, but it's kind of cool. Real red looking. I think it's the ground that tends, real acid ground. All right, let's see if I can find something else. I'm gonna dig this one live. Come up with a good solid quarter signal. Well, this ground, I just can't believe how it's digging. It's, it's all packed and I don't believe I've ever come across ground like this before. Definitely different. Definitely different. There it is. And it says a quarter signal. And that being a dime signal. And it got a new dime. Well, at least it was a coin. On to the next one. Hey guys, Missouri Mike here doing a clean up. <clears throat> I uh, hunted this house. It was uh, probably built in the 50s or maybe even in the 60s because I didn't find anything of value here. Uh, I don't think it had been hit before. I just think it was a pretty poor house to run into. But You never know. I got permission to hunt it and ended up finding a few things here. It was a short hunt, about two hours for work, and, and I got eat up with some kind of bug that was in the yard, and I, I, I mean, I was covered in, in, I think it was flea bites or something. It was bad. Anyway, uh, that's all gone, come and gone now, but it's a bad deal. Anyway, let me show you what I got. My best find is probably this right here, Angel Trinket. It's pretty heavy. It's not silver. It's plated, but that was probably my best find of the hunt. Pretty neat. Um, I got three new dimes here. Three new quarters. And uh, got a little helicopter here that was blowed up. It had been wiped out pretty hard. That's a lawnmower helicopter there. 
old lawnmower did some damage to that puppy. And I got a your normal trashy junk stuff that I kept. Always keep this little lead stuff like this. It's pretty cool stuff. I like like that. Some brackets here. A key to something, not an old key. Old master lock. A piece of lead. I've got uh, about 12 Lincoln pennies here. Got a 59D, 59D, and a 66. And the 59Ds, I tumbled them, but they're in good shape. <clears throat> good high relief on them. Nice coins. That one and this one also. Pretty nice. It looks like it's just coming out of the ground, but it, it was pretty good shape. And I got a 66 here, which, you know, that's getting on 50 years old here next year. So, pretty good finds. Twenty-two zinc and pennies. Some of these are in pretty bad shape. Chewed up pretty bad. But they're still a penny. Of course, I don't know if anybody would take them for real money now or not, as bad as they are. Seems like the newer ones of all of them are really bad as far as getting the corrosion. The ones made in, from 82 to like 92 aren't too bad, but you get in the newer ones to 2000 and sooner, and they're all chewed up. Anyway, <clears throat> that was the hunt, so this is Mike. You guys get out and hunt. Until next time, I'll see you.